Hello friends, today I will show you how to avoid hard coding of SSID and the password. Suppose you made a wonderful IoT project using ESP Wi-Fi chip. Of course, it requires SSID and the password to be connected with the access point. So you enter the SSID and the password in the code and then upload the code into the chip. So what if you want to change the SSID and the password? You bring back the ESP board to the laptop and upload the code with the changed SSID and the password. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to use the ESP32 Bluetooth Classic and EP room for storing Wi-Fi credentials. We will see that how we will use Android phone application to update the Wi-Fi credentials. So stay tuned. So this is the ESP32 that I'm using. Okay. So from here you can see that uh, I have two access points. Uh, one with the SSID Amir and the other SS with the SSID Nova. Okay. So let's suppose we just reset the ESP32. Okay. So from here you can see that the Bluetooth device is ready to pair and it is waiting for Wi-Fi updates for 30 seconds. So it is so far now it, a timer has started for 30 seconds and if if you want to update the Wi-Fi credentials from the Bluetooth. So for the first time I just want to show you that we just don't connect the cell phone and see what what will happen. Okay, so you can see that exactly after 30 seconds, the 30 seconds are over and the stored Wi-Fi credentials are the previous one that were stored in the EP room was the SSID was AAMIRR and the password was 12345678 and the Wi-Fi is connected to Amir and the and the ESP is connected to this 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 network. Okay. So for the next time, uh, so now we have to update this SSID and password. So what you have to do, you have to just download this uh, Bluetooth terminal application from the Play Store, and let's let's restart it again. Okay. So now it's waiting for the for waiting for the SSID to be updated. So now I will connect my bluetooth application with it so it's connected now and what i will write here is that the ssid is n o v a nova so as i send the ssid so it replies with that the ssid has been stored in the ap room the next one is password so when i use the password and the password was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times zero. And I sent this one. And the password is stored. And from here you can see that the stored SSID is now changed to Nova. And the stored password is 000. And the Wi-Fi is now connected to the Nova. So the job is done. So let's let me reset it again and we will see that what are the values that are stored in the AP room. Just wait for the 30 seconds. Okay, so the stored SSID was the previous one the Nova and the password was 00 and the Wi-Fi is now connected to the Nova. I hope you like this video.